Question 32. How many 43s will divide into 1,118? So 1,118 divided by 43. Now, because we're dividing by a very large number here, 43, we're going to use the chunking method. So we need to write down some chunks of 43. So we'll have one lot of 43, 10 lots of 43, 100 lots of 43. Two lots of 43, 20 lots of 43, 200 lots of 43, and the last chunk we'll do is 5 lots of 43. That can also come in handy sometimes. So let's write the answer to these down. So 143 is 43, 1043s is going to be the same as 143 but with one zero on the end, so 430. 143s is the same as 143 but with two zeros on the end, so 4300. Now we have to do a little bit more thinking again. 243s is 86. 2043s is going to be 86 but with one zero on the end. 243s is going to be 86 but with two zeros on the end, so 8,600. 543s is going to be half of whatever this 1043s is here. So half of 430, half of 400 is 200, and half of 30 is 15, so that's going to be 215. Now when you are doing the chunking method for division, what you're actually doing is repeatedly subtracting chunks until there is nothing left. So we need to subtract some chunks of 43 until there's nothing left from 1118. So you find the biggest chunk that you can subtract. Well, we can't subtract 4300 or 8600 because there isn't that much there to begin with. So the biggest number I can subtract so far is this 860. So I'm going to subtract 860. But you must say at the side what chunk of 43 that is, and it's 2043. So let's write 20 at the side of the circle. Very important to do that because that's going to form part of your answer at the end. So what we need to do now is do a little subtraction. So 8 take away 0 is 8. 1 take away 6 we can't do. So borrow 1 from this 1 and that becomes 0. And the 1 we borrow will make this into 11. 11 take away 6 is 5. 0 take away 8 we can't do, so we need to borrow one again. So borrow one from this one, and that will make 0. And the one we borrow makes make 0, that's left here is 10. 10 take away 8 is 2. So on 258, now we need to think what is the next largest number that we can subtract. So go back to your chunks, and remember your chunks are all of these numbers here. So what's the next largest number we can take away from 258? Well, 860 is too big, 430 is too big, but 215 I can do. So I'm going to take away 215. And that has a chunk of 5 43s. You need to write 5 at the side. So here we go. Let's work that out now. 8 take away 5 is 3. 5 take away 1 is 4. And 2 take away 2 is nothing. So I'm down to 43. So I need to keep going because I'm trying to get down as low as I can. So what chunk of 43 can I take off 43? Well, this one now I can take off 43 itself. And 43 is one lot of 43, so you need to write your one at the side. And obviously what's going to happen now is 43 taking 43 is going to leave you with zero. Once you've got down to zero, you have almost finished because Let's not forget what we were trying to do in the first place. We're trying to say how many 43s go into 1118. Well, we've got 20 that's gone in there, 5 that's gone in there, and 1 that's gone in there. So all we need to do now is add these together. So 20 plus 5 plus 1 is 26, and that is our final answer, 26. 26 lots of 43. We'll go into 1118, right 26 up the top there and also in the answer box.